Welcome everyone. Easily add chord diagrams to your ukulele song sheets. At the end of the tutorial, I'll, I'll tell you how you can download this great free software, but first I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of just how easy it is to use. Here we have a, a chord chart of Ain't No Sunshine When She's Gone by Bill Withers. And I have all of the uh, chords notated here, but I'd like to add chord diagrams, so if I'm sharing this with somebody at a play-along uh, who might not know some of these chords, they have the opportunity to uh, see the chord diagrams. So with this tool, the ukulele chord diagrams actually become fonts in Word or any other program you have that has fonts. So I'm going to come up here to my font selection and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to see, uh, it's very difficult to read them, but I'm going to find six ukulele chord fonts. Here's one of them right here. I'm going to select this first one and I'll show you how to know which one to select a little later on. But for now I'm just going to select this first one and you can see I selected ukulele chord font A. And I want my chord fonts to be very large, as large as I can get away with on the page. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to decide that even 72 point font isn't large enough. So I'm going to make them in this case, 100 point font. So now they're very large. Now that I have selected, oh, I see it's gone back. Now that I have selected a uh, chord font and a size, I can simply type in the letters that correspond to the chords that I want. And again, I'll show you how that's done uh, momentarily. But in this case, I want an A minor. I want a D minor. I want an E minor. I want a G. And I want an F. Oh, I made a mistake. I want an F and a G. It's just that simple. I typed in a lowercase A, a lowercase D, a lowercase E, a capital F, and a capital G. And up come the chord diagrams. It couldn't be easier than that and they're uh, nice crisp diagrams that will look great when I print them out. So how do I know which letters correspond to which chords? Well the program I'm using comes with a little application you can install. The name of the program is Chordet and it shows you that I'm using Uke Chord Font A and here is Font A and if I want an A I use an uppercase A. If I wanted a B flat I would type an uppercase W. So let's try that. I'm going to come down here and type an uppercase W. I get a B flat. Okay. So I can scroll through this list of chords and find any chord that I want. And it says if I want a C sharp diminished, I use a percent sign. And so in that case, if I type a percent sign, I get a C sharp diminished 7. So all of the chords are assigned characters and when I type that character I get that chord. And what makes this tool even more powerful, let's look at that B flat again. And here I have a B flat chord in the first position with uke uh, uh, font A. If I go to the next font and look at B flat, I see that it's in the second position of a B flat. So if I was to select the next font in my list of ukulele chord fonts down here and there is a little disconnect in the program because this is ukulele chord font B here it says A, A alternate, B, B alternate the names of the chord fonts are A, B, C, D, E, F, G so there's a little bit of a mix, miscommunication, misalignment there but you'll figure that out easily enough so now I've selected a different font. It says if I use a capital W, I'll get this version of the B. So let's see if that happens. Yes, indeed it does. So by selecting a different font, I have access to alternate forms of the chord. Now you saw a lot of chords here, but of course there are far more chords available than that. And that's what these extra fonts are for. Here I have my minor sixes, uh, seven, uh, flat five, uh, all these more unusual chords 
with alternate forms and then even more unusual chords and uh, finally uh, some some of the more rare chords that you would uh, come across so I have a 12 uh, sorry eight different fonts that contain um, four sets of chord diagrams two versions of each one so a vast array of chord diagrams readily available that I can drop into my program drop into my uh, chart anytime I want some I prefer to put the chord diagrams at the bottom and the chord uh, names above the above the corresponding words some people actually like to put smaller chord diagrams above uh, above each word as it appears so that rather than have the name of the chord you can have a chord diagram up here that's entirely up to you this is now just a font uh, if I wanted to change the size of that font um, you know I can treat this just like any other font I could make it bold uh, if I want to all of that doesn't tend to look very good because they're already nice and crisp so uh, this is a great way to get chord charts chord diagrams into your chord charts so what is this magical tool well this tool uh, that you saw named Chordet is freely available on the web from the Uke farm uh, this developer has been kind enough to create this application and put it out on the web and you can download it for free at this address ukefarm.com slash cordet I was uh, so impressed with it that I immediately made a donation uh, to support and reward this developer and I would encourage all of you to do the same but if you go through the process of uh, downloading and there's some um, one-time steps after you've downloaded the software to actually install the fonts onto your computer um, for now I'll leave that up to you to figure out there's some instructions uh, Microsoft has plenty of instructions there's likely some YouTube instructions that show you how to do that if that seems to be a big problem for a lot of people I can uh, consider a second tutorial on that uh, but once you've installed uh, the Cordet, um, then you have access to these fonts. You don't need to use this application. If you know what the chords are, this is just a convenient ac a way to access the map of the chords. But after a while, you'll get to know most of the common chords, and you won't need this except for the unusual chords. So that's my tutorial on how I add chord diagrams, high-quality chord diagrams, to my ukulele song charts. I will put together shortly a second tutorial where I show you how to create the using these basic chord diagrams that sometimes you come across even more unusual chord structures that are not provided by Cordy or excuse me Cordet and then you need to get a bit uh, more creative to create those unusual fonts I'll show you how to do that and I'll also show you how to uh, make this uh, shareable uh, for people who may not have this font installed if you send this file this word document to somebody who does not have this font they won't be able to see the chord progress the chord charts the chord diagrams so you either have to print it out or you have to convert it to PDF or as I often do you can actually uh, convert this to a bitmap image and I'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial alright I hope you enjoy it and goodbye for now.